Good morning, this is the Agribusiness Report. I'm David Geiger. To grow food organically, there are a couple of challenges to overcome. A field has to be certified organic and you have to deal with insects and diseases without using conventional pesticides or fungicides. But Iowa State University researchers are partnering with a local Iowa organic grower to find alternative ways to deal with the problems an alternative way of growing food has. I headed over to Adel to see the research. There's insects, there's diseases, and particularly if you're doing this organically, um, it's fairly difficult to be able to manage all of these kinds of uh, threats to that food. And so one uh, disease in particular is called cedar apple rust, and so that affects apple trees. And organic growers are trying to understand what we can do to manage that disease. Iowa farmer Maury Wills has been organically farming since he first planted his apple orchard in 1992. Along with ISU researchers, he's set up a couple long-term projects on his farm. One is to evaluate management products for diseases like cedar apple rust. ISU's Joe Hannon's side of the research is evaluating roots for high-density orchards. We're basically looking at different rootstocks and seeing how they perform in an organic situation. So we've tried them in conventional orchards and so you really want to know, okay, what we already know about these rootstocks, does it really hold true when we go into the organic setup? Hannon says there are around 135 different trees in the project with around 10 different rootstocks plus a control. Will says there are a couple ways to raise apples in Iowa. One is using semi-dwarf trees and the other is moving to high density orchards using dwarf trees, which have less canopy making it easier to use organic products. They really work more effectively if you're spraying those on a smaller tree because they can penetrate into the tree and you get better coverage over the apples as opposed to the larger trees. Hannon says there are other advantages to the high density orchard system. By going into that high density system, um, it allows you to get in and do hand thinning. In the conventional settings, we can go in and we can spray it and the, the fruits would drop off. You get into the organic, orchards, you can't do any hand spraying. 